Ho, ho, ho! Another Christmas haul. I guess it's a case of eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Um, so let's try this one first. Let's see. Let's see what surprise we've got here. So this one is an un... Oh, yeah, okay. Previously I ordered a, um, a chip and a pocket chip. So this one is just the HDMI adapter for it. The reason why I got that was because there was a new release of firmware which updated the graphics drivers for the chip which gave it some uh, 3D acceleration support. So that would be really nice. Eeny, meeny, miny, moo. Uh, this one. Don't know what this one is from... Hmm... I don't know. Feels like, feels like uh, some LED displays that I got. Um, and yes, look at that. So these LED displays, which were from eBay, I think. Yep, standard ones you can find anywhere, really. That's another tutorial that I'll have coming up shortly. So I've got six of these on order. Uh, two of them come in. Another four, and I'm going to make a nice little. Uh, actually, no, I'll get that as a secret. <coughs> Next, where's this? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, hang on. Funny Vale. Okay, so this one is a Kickstarter I backed um, a while ago, and uh, so these are basically an ESP8266 with a six DOF. IMU and a temperature sensor. It's a way of being able to add wireless IMU and temperature sensor to sort of any board like a Raspberry Pi or something like that. So I thought they were quite neat because you can power them up from the USB port. Uh, it provides uh, four GPIO out, uh, ITC and a, an ADC port. So quite nice little boards. Thought I'd give them a go, see how they went. Excellent. That's another nice one. Uh, I think I might try this one. This one, I think, is the last one from the last shipment from Banggood. The <coughs> and I think I oh know. This is these are the other four displays. All right, so I've got six in total. The reason why I ordered uh, separately was because I just couldn't get them. Um, these guys over in China couldn't deliver uh, six, and these guys couldn't deliver six. Nice, they're all the same. Fantastic. Okay, that'll be a good little project coming up. Next up, um, no idea what this one is. no indication on it at all. Okay. Ah, okay. So this is uh, another one I've been looking forward to, uh, which is five one meter length LED chains uh, using the WS2812, I believe. And that's going to be yet another project. So they're all projects. Uh, except for the the uh, the Wii, Wii thumbs, which uh, is going to be a review. So these are fairly basic ones. Just using a WS two eight one two. Nice little job. Who did I order from Banggood? No, I think it was just a eBay purchase. Just get them in quickly, so I could do a nice little uh, tutorial. But hold on, there's still some more. I found these uh, in my letterbox um, just yesterday, just before I was about to publish this video. So, um, since I'm going to be off for two weeks, I might as well just um, tack these on to the end. So this one, uh, I think I ordered from Banggood. This is a power supply that has a LED attached to it. That tells you the voltage. So I think this is one that uh, Nita, one of my subscribers, um, talked to me about. She has uh, several of them that are pretty dodgy. So 
I'll give this one a try. Let's see how it is. Yeah, this is the one. So this is just a plain um, uh, buck converter with a, a handy little um, LED display that's supposed to show you the voltage, but who knows whether it actually does do that or not. So I'll give that a test and see if it actually works or not. Uh, so that was from Banggood. Uh, next up, I have no idea what this one is, but it's a big one. <coughs> ah, okay. All right. So our friends over at DF Robot, um, I got they got in contact with me, and they offered to uh, send me a loan uh, Latte Panda. So they gave me a yeah, cable. So this is a Latte Panda 4G. I'll put that through its paces. Uh, looks exactly the same as the other Latte Panda. Um, I'll see how it goes compared to the Latte Panda 2G that I bought. So there we have it. Thanks to all my subscribers for supporting me this year. It's been a tough road getting started on this channel, but all your support helps me to keep going. A special shout out to all my patrons supporting me on Patreon this year. I've almost reached my first milestone, which is covering all my basic running costs. I'll also be offering all my patrons a chance to vote on upcoming videos. I hope you have a great Christmas and an even better new year. I'll be taking two weeks off for a bit of R&R &R and also remodeling my studio, as it's really quite inadequate for a full-time YouTuber. Meanwhile, you can play with my live streaming Christmas tree online. Just go to this address and press some buttons. So, see you in the new year, and stay safe.